for women, it's actually really, I think, a lot simpler in many ways. Um, I cover my elbows, my collarbone, my knees. I'm basically dressing modestly. Um, this is a wig. <laughs> that's a whole. That's a whole separate kind of category. But um, um, basically, within that, um, yeah. I mean, I'm allowed to be stylish. I'm allowed to be trendy um, with keeping to, you know, Jewish sensibilities. And um, I'm wearing. And this is from Zara. I'm wearing ASOS booties and this. Uh, <laughs> Dresses from actually my own line of modest clothing, and um, that's that. Basically, preserving. You know, I'm not flashing my skin. I'm not. Um, you know, the idea of modesty um, for women in Judaism, I think across the board, anybody can relate to this, is about drawing attention to what's inward and what's really you, and not distracting yourself or other people with things that are that are um, not you and more about your exterior. You bring up your wig and uh, you know, I have some um, photographs, I think that we have some photographs from your, um, from your wedding which I think we're going to play in a second but prior to your marriage you were, well you got married and you ha it was your natural hair, this is your natural hair that we're seeing. So explain the sort of you know, transition from that to the wig and also you know when people sort of hear that you have to buy a wig I think that your hair here looks just gorgeous and you know <laughs> do, is there much sort of choice within it? Do you have fun with it like choosing oh, the wig? Absolutely. So, so, um, this actually looks very much like my natural hair and um, going back again to like people's notions of like you know Hasidic women being oppressed Jewish women must cover their hair after they get married your hair takes on a different holy um, status within the marriage you know preserving your beauty your sensuality for within the sanctity of a marriage and um, so of course there's all those laws and deeper purposes about it but women within my community have a lot of fun this is one of my wigs this is actually a much cheaper wig than one of my more expensive wig that I got when I got married which I ombre I've chopped layers into it. I, you know, we have people <laughs> dye their wigs. It's, it's, you know, you could totally have fun within the, um... Well, you are a very fashion-forward person. I, I mean, I really hate that expression, but mm -hmm. it kind of describes who you are because, you know, you have your own website, you have designs, you design yourself. So, you know, do people find that surprising when they hear that, you know, you are Hasid and then all of a sudden you have this really creative streak that doesn't seem to kind of mesh with our preconceived ideas of your community? Um, well, I just want to point out, I do, I co-own my own fashion line, Mimu Maxi, with my sister-in-law. And we actually started it when we did grow frustrated with, like, shopping around. We obviously are trendy, um, and we wanted to find ways of building a clothing line that was just as fashionable as it was modest, and we believed it was possible. And these and, are images that we're seeing, by the way, just yes, for everybody that's are, watching. These, these are your designs. These, these are skirts that cover more than the elbow and um, have really taken off in our community because, as you see, they don't, I mean, they're, they're totally modest but they have, are fun prints and colors and um, you know we're actually coming out with a dress line this is one of our new dresses I mean totally you could have seen this on the Philip Lim runway Celine I mean covering yourself should not have to sacrifice looking good and feeling beautiful and being trendy okay.